you work with people that aren't as good as you, then you know you become a country of midgets. Who am I to be the best? Who am I to deserve working with the best? People say that you know I built Facebook or Steve Jobs built Apple or whatever, but you know that's really not true. Rise and shine, it's Espresso time. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan, I believe in you, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message. Work with the best. Over to you, Steve Jobs. Also, if you wanna know what Steve Jobs and others have to say about building unstoppable confidence, check out my 254 Confidence Series, where every day for the next 254 days, I will send you a morning video for free to help you build your confidence. The link to join is in the description below. And I say, well, I think you should go get a job as a busboy or something until you find something you're really passionate about. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up. I've noticed something in my life which is people that are really good want to work with the best people they can find. Hopefully people that are even better than them. You know? I mean that's my view of things is if if you work with people that aren't as good as you then you know you become a country of midgets. If you work with people that are better than you then you really grow. What Steve Jobs is saying makes sense. Work with the best and you will win. I think the hard part though for people is believing that they're worthy of being the best and working with the best. I think a lot of people go through life saying, who am I? Like, who am I to have this big ambition? Who am I gonna have this big dream? Who am I to be the best? Who am I to deserve working with the best? And they feel like an imposter. Now, if I'm being totally honest, I don't have all the answers myself. I still need to learn to believe in myself more. Why should Kanye make a Believe hoodie or Believe shoe line? Why should Howard Schultz join my board of advisors or board of directors? I don't believe that I'm on that level yet. I don't believe that I deserve to work with the best yet. I'm still on my path. And so I don't have all the answers, but I have grown a lot over the past X number of years. And there's one secret that has really helped me and that is change comes with consistency. No matter where you came from, no matter what circumstances you grew up in, you can escape those circumstances. You can become a new, better, more confident person if you are consistently dedicated to changing yourself. The example that really showed this to me was when I signed a three-year deal with the CEO of Sage, who's was this giant corporation, 12, 13,000 employees, multi-billion dollars in revenue. And I was doing a live Q&A show with him where every month, we would sit down and we'd take questions from you guys, Believe Nation. And I was driving with my dad and I just signed his three year deal. I was driving with my dad and he asked me, what gives you the confidence to think that you're on the same level as his big time CEO? And he was asking out of genuine admiration, genuine like, wow, look what you did, as opposed to like, who are you to think you can do this? And I thought about it and I didn't think at the time that it was a huge deal because who am I hanging around with? I'm watching videos of Steve Jobs. I'm watching videos of Oprah Winfrey. I'm hanging around with these people on a consistent basis. And I don't notice it on a day to day, but week to week, month to month, even year to year, I feel a little bit more confident. I start to believe in myself a little bit more through that consistency by every day surrounding myself with people who are doing much greater things. They slowly pull me up towards them. Now it's taken me years to get here. If you go back on my channel, you see who I was before. I had the same opinions, I had the same thoughts, but the confidence has grown, the presence has grown, the self-belief has grown, and I still have a long way to go to get to ultimately where I wanna be. But my message is, if you guys wanna change where you're at, if you're unhappy with your level of confidence, if you're unhappy with your circumstances, it doesn't have to remain that forever. Whether my channel is the thing that helps you or you design your own program, if you constantly inject positivity, belief, courageousness into your regular daily habits and environment, you will grow, you will get stronger, you will build that muscle, and you will end up feeling worthy of working with the best. I think we all know that we want to work with the best, but the first challenge is believing that we're worthy of being the best and working with them too. Now I've got a really special bonus clip that I think you're going to enjoy. But before that question of the day, I want to know, do you struggle with the belief that you are worthy of working with the absolute best in the world? I'd love to hear from you. Please share your story in the comments below. There's a little bit of this cultural bias towards thinking that, you know, one person does this, right? I mean, people say that, you know, I built Facebook or Steve Jobs built Apple or whatever, but you know, that's really not true. Right, I mean, it's, we're 
were people we, we helped, uh, but there were thousands and thousands of other people involved in building these things. And the reality is, is that as strong as any one individual is, no one person can deal with all the challenges that are gonna get thrown at them in, in anything that you do. And one of the ways that I think we maintain resilience is by having um, co-founders and partners who complement our strengths and uh, fortify our weaknesses and can kind of encourage us and give us a push to, to keep going when things are tough. And there's actually a lot of data on this that suggests that companies that get started with more co-founders are more likely to be successful. And it isn't quite clear um, exactly from that data why that's the case, although it is very clear in terms of the outcome for the startups that it is the case. Um, but I would guess that the reason why that's the case is because of this resilience point, where people who start something by themselves, I, I just think like there's no way that any one person can overcome all of the different things that you need to do to, to build a startup or take on any kind of other project in the world. But if you have two or three or four partners, then I don't know, I mean, maybe over time, one of them doesn't like it and, and drops out, but you still have enough strength on the team to power through all the challenges that you have, and that's kind of how you go. And you know, at Facebook today, one of the things that I always find a little bit funny is, again, that so much attention is placed on, on me as the person running the company, whereas I think you know, people like Cheryl, um, who really you know, is my partner running the whole business, or you know, folks like Chris Cox, who run a huge amount of our product, or um, Mike Schrepfer, who's our chief technology officer, and, and kind of makes sure that a ton of uh, what we're doing works, or Jay Parikh, who you know, runs all of our global infrastructure and, and all the data centers around the world. We, we couldn't make Facebook work without those people. Right? And, and there were really hard days where, where I'm not sure what to do next, and, and, and they keep me going. So let me give you the one word secret to happiness. One word. This is all you need to be happy. The most important word ever. If you had to think of one word that's most important to you or that sums you up or that would be kind of like a little beacon. If you want more Steve Jobs, check out the top 10 rules video that I made on him. It's old, but it's amazing. The link is right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. You tend to get told that the world is the way it is. Just to live your life inside the world, try not to bash into the walls too much.